All right, are you ready? This is probably going to be my favorite game this year. Are you excited for it? Did you play the original? I've I've reviewed the other two, the other two games. It's the original and then the spin-off. What is this? Um I want to I want to see this. How do I how do I Here's what we're going to do. Bam. Okay, cool. I had, to, I had to hide a video from you guys so you don't see it, but I want to check it out later. Okay, so the original game came out, and it was awesome. I mean, just actually, it was very good. It revolutionized certain things. It was actually groundbreaking. It did some, some stuff that was really good. Then it had a spinoff that I didn't think was as good. And to buy the spinoff, you had to buy, pay $70 for a remaster of the original. So I was like, that sucks. Um... But yeah, did you like this? Did you play it? What do you think? I didn't. I didn't play it. It looked impressive. It's a, I played a little bit. Okay. Better. And yeah, it was. It was. Fun. I always yeah. got to go. Amazing Spider-Man for the PS2. I know that's kind of yeah. a simple entry, but I like. Oh yeah, no, that is true. But this one I think is just awesome. Uh, let's let's check it out though. Wacky Zach already gave it away. We're watching the trailer for. Are you a gym rat? or even just somebody who works to stay healthy through exercise? If so, I have found your new favorite color. Purple. Purple Works Nutrition offers a pre-workout manufactured right here in the good old US of A. Their pre-workout is formulated by a healthcare professional with a simple, easy to understand list of all natural ingredients with no preservatives or artificial flavors. Action Pack members. In the words of the mighty Grom Hellscream, why be strong enough when you can be stronger still? By harnessing the power of purple. Purple Works Pre-Workout is the ultimate pre-workout supplement that targets tried and true ingredients that deliver energy, focus, and strength. You can find this pre-workout at purpleworksnutrition.com. You can find a link in the description down below. Marvel Spider-Man 2, Be Greater, Together, Trailer, PS5 Games. We're going to like the game. The first one, the movement mechanics were so cool. It was just nice and awesome. To be, It was actually awesome. Like, when you played it, you were inspired, uh, filled with awe to be able to web-swing the way that Spider-Man could in the original game on PS4 and PS5. Uh, but let's check it out. Coming at us from PlayStation, we liked the video. Spider-Man, see, I don't like this. Spider-Man. This is the only thing that, and this is why what's stupid is because the comic books did this and it split the fan base. Miles Morales is Miles Morales, and and Spider-Man is Peter Parker. I mean, that's it. Like, like. Oh, well, yeah. Miles Morales is also Spider-Man. No, he's not. Wait. No, he's not. The, the, the consensus. Not? There's a clear consensus on this in the comic book world, and in the it really is. Like Peter Parker is the Spider-Man that everybody wants, and Spy and, and oh, Miles well, that's Morales. Oh, share a universe. I guess. Yeah, I don't know. But my, I'm just saying, Miles like, Morales. Future is Barry Allen. Like, okay. No, but my, I'm just saying, like Miles Morales needs to be his own, his own hero. That, that's the, and he works good as his own hero, uh, you know. And then you just keep them separate. But now they're trying to do all this stuff where they really are pushing them together, and it doesn't. And then the comics, it doesn't that's work. Engaged arguments. Right, because they got spots no. in different. Superhero segregation. <laughs> it's not superhero. It's not superhero segregation. It's the fact that it's the fact that if you keep if you keep Miles Morales in Spider Man's shadow, then you then what you end up doing is you, you're diminishing his own char his character. Like Spider, like Miles Morales. It, Miles Morales it can be it could be his own character, and they won't. Let him. Anyway, yeah. let's check out the... Here, I gotta read the description. So, Spider-Man... So, Zach. Zach, I gotta read the description. Uh, yeah. So, Spider-Man, uh, Peter Parker... Spider-Man, Peter Parker, and Miles Morales return for an exciting new adventure in the critically acclaimed Spider-Man... Spider... Sorry, critically acclaimed Marvel Spider-Man franchise for the PS5 console. Equipped with Miles Morales' new bioelectric venom power and Peter Parker's and Peter's spider arms, the Spider-Men face the ultimate test of strength inside and outside the mask as they fight to save the city, each other and the ones they love, from the monstrous Venom. 
Marvel's Spider-Man 2 launches October 20th, 2023, and I'll be playing it and reviewing it. See, this is the problem, and I've noticed, I've mentioned this in Spider-Man Miles Morales, is that he has a bioelectric power called Venom, and he ha and his most iconic enemy is also Venom. I don't like the fact that he can turn invisible because it doesn't make scientific sense. Like, I know, like, the, everything behind his powers is supposed to be scientifically driven, how do you get a bite from a spider and then the bite from the spider, you're supposed to have the spider's powers. But the spider can't turn invisible, and even if it could, it couldn't spider turn its It couldn't turn its clothes invisible. It couldn't listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying. If you the, the spider doesn't have the power to turn invisible, it doesn't have the power to turn its clothes invisible either. So I was like, I didn't like that. I, I, I think the about the character does have the power to camouflage itself and maybe it no. does other things through time. <laughs> Right, but I'm just saying uh, it no. doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't work. Like, like it was kind of a dumb power. It's just how like no, Mister Narrative reason. It's how and I'll, I'll do it. it can be a MacGuffin. Right, but it doesn't okay, work. As long as it motivates something that's no, it's it's. Like, hey, we can talk. Hey, look, we can okay. talk. We can talk about. We can talk about it in the after show. No, no, no. Okay. We cannot. The underscores his adolescence. He shoots jizz out of his hands. Right. No, he Octane doesn't. Knocks on the door. What are you doing in there? Don't come in. It's all covered in webs. Like he always jumped on no. homework and his girlfriend and whatever. Zach, like, these are Zach. We don't have we don't have time. We got We got to move forward with the video. Okay. Zach, okay. Zach. We don't we don't have time. Okay, so we got a one minute and six second trailer. Are you ready? I want to talk about this in the after show, but are you ready for the trailer? Yeah, I mean this was I think a conversation. Let's go. <sighs> I love my awesome support the troops stormtrooper mug. Do you know where you can get a mug just like this one, but different? Bottega Crua. Bottega Crua is an Italian born and raised artisan trained at the Academy of Fine Arts in Venice, Italy. Since 2010, Bottega Crua has offered unique handmade and hand-painted ceramics, pottery, and other artistic products. You can find these products at her Etsy store by following the link down below. She also takes custom orders, but they may take longer to ship because she has to make them after you order them. So go check out Bottega Crua to get yourself an awesome mug just like this one or the ones you've been seeing behind me as this ad has been going on. Remember guys, supporting our partners is supporting the pack. The action pack. Here we go. All right. Okay, we got the wings. The city's being torn apart. I don't know if I'm strong enough to save it. I don't like the new look either. I like the original look. Everybody likes the original look in the game. Like, ah, I don't like this new look. I liked it What's from different? the... What, what is different? What are you talking about? No, so the it character like actually... No, the character actually had his own a face. Like, his, a different face. Spider-Man, like... like watch, yeah, I know. They made him to look like Tom Holland, but the problem was... The problem was people didn't like that. No, th no, they didn't. Uh, so this is, yeah, so this is the, the thing. So he looks more like Peter Parker here from the comics. He also looks more like the age he's supposed to be. And then they made him this to make him look, look more like Tom Holland. And people were yeah. like, ah. The he looks like Tom Holland. Yeah, it's not a, t it's, it doesn't look absolutely terrible, but it's, I just liked him better like this. It just looked, I think it looked nicer. It looked more like Peter Parker from the comics. Oh, there's my daughter crying. Anyway, we gotta continue on with the with the trailer here. Strong enough to save it. Do I have what it takes to protect the people I love? See, I'm just saying, I just liked it when you had Miles Morales was a Spider-Man, was his own Spider-Man from another universe. That's all it is. Spider-Man. Oh, are you uh, are you some kind of a Spider-Man? Are you Spider-Man? <laughs> well, no, but it, it just worked better narratively as well. So I mean, it, it, I mean, it did. It worked better narratively. Takes to protect the people I love. Just go. Okay. You never gave.
gave up. Never back down. Okay. Venom looks great. This is my power. This is the map. What's that? This is not gameplay. I know, but I mean, I'm just saying, like, Venom looks cool. My the design. Venom always looks cool. I am Spider-Man. Spider -Man. See, that's what he's saying. If you listen to the narrative, they're really pushing, like, no, Miles Morales is Spider-Man. Okay, well, then who is Peter Parker? They're not the same person. No, but it's not. That doesn't... That's not how that works. See, the problem with it is... The pro the 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 so yeah like you were saying the problem with the trailer is that it said there's no gameplay it'd be cool the problem the biggest problem and and, and i want to see how they do this now because the biggest problem i think with with um the original game and then its offshoot uh miles morales was that basically what they did with the with the offshoot uh with miles morales is and you know they i know this happened in the comics as well is that they took peter parker spider-man and they said, let's make another version of him, but he's going to be better. He's going to be exactly the same, but with more powers. And then you have a game, so how do you balance that in gameplay? And so I'm interested to see how they do that. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. And so we'll see how that works. But yeah, you are correct. I mean, it is a narrative, a narrative trailer, so we don't get a whole lot of... We don't get any, any real gameplay. But I think it... I mean, it's cool... And it's and 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 a cool part of the other one was the cutscenes too. So the cutscenes, it looks like you know, if you think about this like as if we were watching a movie, this looks like it's going to be nice in that aspect. Um, any other thoughts you have about it though? Well, I'm sure I'm sure it's going to be great. You know, this is reliable. Yeah. Like this is Sony's baby. Like it's their yeah. seminal IP uh, intellectual property purchase. So. I think I think is I think so as well. The thing that I think will probably happen though is like I'm gonna choose to either play Miles Morales or play as Peter Parker through the whole game. I'm, I'm probably not if, unless they require me to switch. You 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 what's gonna end up happening is you're gonna go. I like this character more. I like this character. I like one or the other more, and then you're just always gonna play that one. Um, and maybe you'll do like multiple playthroughs, but that's usually what happens in games like this. So. Does does Sony owe Sam Raimi for like that that acquisition? Was that Sam Raimi's idea? I don't know. Who, if that's the case, Sony owe Sam Raimi like yeah. a lot. I don't know. I I'm not sure. But let's let's um. Who's I? Let's check out. What, so so you're liking it. First of all, I, the, you know obviously this is gonna be a triple A title. I'm just gonna open it up real quick. We already know that it's gonna be Marvel Spider Man. See, the Spider-Man remastered is is still 50, 60 bucks. And this is what I'm saying. Spider-Man Miles Morales is $50. Or, okay, so the original is still $60. Spider-Man Miles Morales isn't even a third of the length of the original game, and it's $50. The original game is $60. You pay $50 more for a game that's not even a third of the length. Spider-Man Miles Morales is 8 hours long to complete, to 100% complete. That's less. That's less gameplay than the free DLCs you get when you buy Spider-Man, the original Marvel Spider-Man. Anyway, um, sorry, I'm getting off track here. Uh, so it's not listed on. Oh, that's right, because it's not coming to PC immediately. It's coming to PlayStation Five exclusively. So, but it's going to be a seventy dollar game because uh, it's a triple A and, and all that. And, uh, yeah, so, but let me just real quick, we'll go through the comments real quick. Sorry, I'm clicking on a bunch of stuff here. Let's see what other people have to say. The hype for this game is through the tar charts. The transition from Mal Miles Morales being in his room to engaging in battle with Venom is absolutely thrilling. Um, this trailer is pure hype, and I'm right there with it. The two previous games were not just great games, but pure fun to play. So I said Miles Morales was a, uh, average, a below average game because of its price point. It was just so much less value than the base game in a year that has already had so many great games i it feels strange to be still anticipating another game this much cannot wait um yeah i mean people are hyped yeah people are hyped and i'm hyped too so um yeah 
Okay, did you play? Well, uh, one sec. Well, so we've got the ad coming up in thirty seconds. We'll talk about we'll talk about this in the after show. So make sure if you're watching this on YouTube, come watch us on Twitch when we go live on the weekends, and you can see the after show where we talk about more this stuff more in depth. But we have an ad coming up in about ten seconds. Um, so we're we're gonna go to ad break, and we'll see you after these short messages. Don't forget to check me out on Twitch and join the Discord where you can voice chat with me while a live stream and you won't be recorded or anything on YouTube and Twitch, so that's pretty cool. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram. If you like to read, you can see my after action reports on my blog. And if you are interested, you can get some merch from my spring store. The links for everything are in the description below.